I'm honored to have the opportunity to speak with you about technologies that are significantly impacting how we carry out our work across industries, from product development and manufacturing to skull surgery and bioengineering. 3D printing gives us new capabilities that alter how we compete in an increasingly global marketplace. I would like to start with a real world example. So I'm the executive director of 3D Maryland, a statewide leadership initiative to advance the engagement and implementation of 3D printing and additive manufacturing as an innovative economic driver for Maryland, but also for America. 3D Maryland is located within the Maryland Center for Entrepreneurship, which is a business incubator in Howard County, Maryland. Within two weeks of a new client joining the Maryland Center for Entrepreneurship, he sought me out and he said, I hear you're the 3D printing person. And I said, I am. And he, said, and he started telling me about his product that he was, proto he was innovating and wanting to prototype and how he had sent $2,500 to China and hadn't heard anything and could I help? And I said, well, when do you need your prototype? And he said, yesterday. And I said, well, send me the 2D drawings and I'll see what I can do. He promptly did and I immediately turned them around, had the 3D digital files made and two days later, hopeful, he knocked on my door to check the progress. I'm sure not expecting what he found. He put his head in, in, my door, in, in the door and I pointed to the build platform on the 3D printer across my office. He looked at the proto his prototype sitting on the build platform, looked at me, looked back at the printer, looked at me, speechless. And I said, that's your prototype. And he looked at the printer and looked back at me and he said, this is like magic. Well, it's not magic, um, but it is a tool that helps us do our work better, more efficiently, locally, and many times, most times, faster with optimized solutions across industries, whatever work it is we're carrying out. 3D printing and additive manufacturing is a, dis is a disruptive 21st century technology. It's changing the who, how, when, why, and importantly, the what of what we make and how we solve problems. If we can imagine it and we've got the skill to design it, the 3D printers will print it. We are making things we could have never made before. And there's tons of examples on the table here today. It's disrupting economies of scale, current business models, and democratizing production across industries. Innovation and entrepreneurial opportunities are at the heart of this technology. There are some barriers to engagement, access to knowledge, both trusted knowledge sources and understanding what the technology can and can't do. Overcoming industrial era thinking is a huge one. We have made things subtractively for a very long time and we're very good at it. Cost of entry, the allocation of resources, whether capital or human, is a challenge for small businesses and, and entrepreneurs. And then the position of the technology, are we there yet, is a question that we all receive regularly. 3D Maryland, um, the leadership of Howard County in Maryland, uh, County Executive Ken Allman, the Howard County Economic Development Authority CEO Larry Tweel, and the Executive Director of the Maryland Center for Entrepreneurship are a very strong leadership team for Howard County. And they very easily saw the vision and the opportunity that these technologies brought and how it fit in with and supported small business and, entrepre and the entrepreneurial uh, ecosystem. 3D Maryland itself is an innovative and entrepreneurial initiative addressing barriers to entry and advancing the business advantages of 3D printing for business, industry, and entrepreneurs. Those are our target audiences. We are raising awareness and facilitating engagement and implementation. 3D Maryland is identifying and addressing, oppor addressing opportunities to strengthen and advance the rapid tech ecosystem in Maryland. And we're building a loosely coupled system of collaborative relationships and partnerships across sectors to innovate and accelerate the region and the country's economic competitiveness. I respectfully recommend that this committee encourage and support initiatives such as 3D Maryland that have a focus on multi-sector, cross-disciplinary, pre-competitive collaboration, building on the strengths and core competencies to advance current practices, foster innovation, and grow regional ecosystems while taking advantage of public funding sources. Supporting initiatives like 3D Maryland builds on the momentum created by recent initiatives such as the National Additive, uh, National Manufacturing, uh, National Additive Manufacturing Innovation Institute. Addressing uh, and creating an adaptive workforce at all points on the spectrum is also critical to our engagement of these technologies. I would recommend working at the grassroots level locally with users with, a, with proven track records from both industry and education. Uh, that, so we can institute some changes in K through 16, vocational training and apprenticeship programs, retraining programs, et cetera. Wider adoption is inevitable. We need to ensure that the workforce is prepared 
to increase engagement. Studies have shown that students who are educated in additive manufacturing processes are among the first to bring the advanced hands-on technologies to their employers. And that's something that I've told my students at Towson University since I established that lab. You are workforce leaders. Continuing to support research funding and programs that facilitate technology transfer, 3D printing and additive, to additive manufacturing are just getting started. I thank you very much for your attention and your consideration of these technologies.